Hi, I'm Marco, and I'm someone who the multi-level marketing industry would refer to as a miserable loser with a broke mindset who failed at life and now just wants to tear others down and stop them from pursuing their dreams as my way of getting back at the world. But today, thanks to this book, Ponzi-nomics by Robert Fitzpatrick, I'm able to present to you the simplest visual model that exists to explain why becoming successful in an MLM is mathematically impossible regardless of your level of effort or your mindset. Let's begin with a model where I join a multi-level marketing company and I recruit five people. There's now a total of six people in the company, including the person at the top, who is eligible to earn money from the compensation plan because they recruited five people underneath them. But those five people can't earn anything from the compensation plan because they don't yet have anyone under them. So as it stands right now, one in six people in the entire company are eligible to earn money from the compensation plan. That means that about 80% of the people in the company are not eligible to earn anything. Let's go down another layer and say that all five people in this layer each successfully recruited five more people. So we now have another layer of recruits in the company, totaling 25 people, five times five, 25. Out of the 31 people in this company right now, 25 in this layer, five in this layer, and the person on the top who started it all, 25 people are not eligible to earn anything from the compensation plan because they don't have anyone under them. Still, around 80% of people in the company are not eligible to earn anything. The percentage of people who are eligible to earn money from the compensation plan remains fixed and it continues this way. Let's go another layer. These 25 people all successfully recruit five people. So now we have another layer with 125 people. Out of 156 people in the company, 125 of them aren't eligible to earn anything because they have no one under them. Still, 80% of the people are not eligible to earn anything. If we expanded this model even further and applied the very generous assumption that every person in every layer successfully recruited five new new people who stayed in the company, we would very quickly start to see the number of people in this company balloon. By the time we get to the fifth layer, we would have 3,125 people on the bottom level. If we add up every layer beneath the person who started it all, we have 3,905 people in the company. Out of 3,905 people, 3,125 on the bottom layer are not eligible to earn anything. Still, the vast majority, 80%. The next layer up of 625 people, or 16% of the total number of people in the company, will also lose money, because they each only have five people underneath them, which means they're only gonna be eligible for the lowest available bonus the compensation plan has to offer. In an MLM, having five people under you is not enough to make the riches that they tell you you're going to make. Plus, we still have to factor in the monthly fees that these people are paying, and the amount of time that they put in to recruit those five people. When you consider all of that, they are nowhere close to breaking even. So 80% of the people are not eligible to earn anything. 16% are making so little that they're still in the red. What about the next layer up? 125 people in the third layer. Well, if 96% of people in a company losing money wasn't enough to show you that this is a scam, this layer of 125 people is also going to lose money. Based on the number of recruits in the downlines of this 125 people, it actually looks like they might start making some money. But wait, the CEO of the company who started it all just decided that in a few weeks, there's gonna be a big company-wide event in Texas and you absolutely cannot miss it. There's gonna be celebrity appearances, there's gonna be musical performances. There's gonna be speeches by all of the top mentors and leaders in the company, and you absolutely cannot miss the knowledge that the elders are going to bestow upon you. Now, let's say you're in this layer of 125 people. Now you have to figure out how to get from wherever you live, let's say Florida, to Texas. You have to figure out your flight. You have to pay for a hotel. You have to pay for your Uber or other form of transportation, your food. Plus you have to pay for the ticket to the event itself. Based on what MLMs typically charge for their events, you're going to be paying anywhere between three and $500 USD for one ticket to this event. You can see how quickly and easily these costs are gonna eat up the money that we're making from the compensation plan. Members of this layer are also encouraged to buy tickets for the members of their downline who can't afford it. There's a couple reasons for this. Firstly, paying for the tickets of your downline is a great way of holding something over their head in the future and guilting them if they ever express doubts about the company. Secondly, getting your recruits to this event where they're undoubtedly going to listen to hours upon hours of mindless motivational babble from the top leaders 
leaders in the company is a great way of reinforcing the doctrine of the company and making sure that your recruits are even more motivated next month to get out there and recruit more people who are going to contribute to your downline. Thirdly, paying for your downline's tickets makes you a good leader and it shows your upline how committed you are and how much you believe in the system. So now any profits that this layer of 125 people was hoping to make is very quickly and easily relinquished back to the people at the very top of the company who are throwing this event. And that's just for one event. Typically, big MLMs put on these mega events once every couple of months at least. And we haven't even talked about the additional materials that the top people in the company encourage everyone to purchase as mandatory mindset training. Books, ebooks, motivational webinars, t-shirts with your team's name or logo written on it are all things sold to people in the company for profit on top of the monthly fees they already pay. These are all things that contribute to the fact, yes, it is a fact, that 99% of people in every MLM company ever lose money. And as far as the process of five people who recruit five people who recruit five people, etc., that can only happen 13 times before you run out of people on earth to recruit. This includes babies, the elderly, the homeless, and people in parts of the world with no electricity or running water. Multi-level marketing is just one name that these cult-like pyramid schemes use to disguise themselves. They also call themselves network marketing, peer-to-peer -peer marketing, direct sales. Always do your research beforehand so you know what you're getting into. Thank you for watching, and remember, don't join an MLM.